Hello, everyone, and welcome to this month's Connect with Control-M. My name is Daniel Levy, and I am a Control-M Technical Support Analyst. Our topic today is customizing and integrating automation API examples into your workflow, where I'll show you how to find, use, and modify our automation API examples on the Control-M GitHub. During this webinar, I'll briefly talk about how to access BMC's Control-M GitHub page and how to download the automation API examples we have there. Next, I'll discuss a specific use case that one example can help with. After that, I'll demonstrate how to modify this example and to meet additional needs under our scenario. The Control-M automation API examples are publicly available on our Community Solutions GitHub repository. The link can be found in the attachment section of this webinar. Let's visit the Control M GitHub and see what's there. We have several repositories here, but today we'll be looking at community solutions. We have several categories of examples here. The entire repository with all the examples can be retrieved in two different ways, either by downloading a zip file or by cloning the repository through Git. Today, we'll be cloning the repository with this URL. Now that we have the link in our clipboard, we'll switch to a command line uh, window to download the repository. This program is called Git Bash, and it comes with Git for Windows. It provides a handy way to run Git commands. We'll use the git clone command to download the entire repository. For those playing along at home, you'll need to have Git installed to run this command. While that's downloading, let's discuss our scenario for today's demonstration. In our scenario, we are Control-M administrators. We have many connection profiles across multiple Control-M agents. We have one machine which is changing its host name, and we need to find all connection profiles that involve that host so that we can update them. We saw what looks to be a useful script on the control on GitHub, and we'd like to use it to assist us in this task. Okay, let's go back and look at our repo. And let's go and look under the general examples category. Here we see a script that might help us called search connection profiles for attribute. Let's take a look at the readme in that folder. Okay. We have some prerequisites, which I've set up already. Let's also take a look at the readme in the scripts directory. We can see there, there are a bunch of uh, Python scripts here, and that search profiles.py appears to be in the main script. Now that our git clone has completed, let's go ahead and go to that directory where we downloaded the repository. Go to Automation API Community Solutions, General Examples, and Search Connection Profiles for Attribute. And let's try out this script. Python scripts search profiles.py dash h to look at the help. Okay, we can see there are a number of options here. I've prepared uh, an option to meet our scenario. We want to search for connection profiles that meet uh, the following criteria. We want to search across all agents for file transfer connection profiles that have a host name of example.com. This is our host that's changing host name. Press enter. Great, we can see retrieve one connection profile for example.com. However, I know that we have uh, connection profiles for subdomains of example.com, such as dev.example.com. I'd like to modify this script to accept regular expressions in the key or value instead of matching the input exactly. Let's take a look back in the repository to see if we can find where that might be done. Okay, I can see that we have a listing of the different scripts and their function. And it looks like search parse.py has what we need to modify. It contains functions to search key pair searches. Let's open this in our editor. Go to that same directory. And edit the script. Let's 
search parse.py. Okay, let's look through this. Okay, I see a pair match function. This looks like it does what we want it to do. I've taken the liberty of writing a replacement beforehand. So I'll go ahead and grab that and paste that as a replacement. Save that and try that. Now, the eagle-eyed among you might have noticed that I forgot to uh, include the Python regular expression library. This was on purpose for the purposes of demonstration. Oftentimes, when we're modifying scripts, things don't work out as expected. So let's go ahead and put in the regular expression library. import re, which is the Python library, for a regular expression. And we'll try it again. Notice here that I'm searching for a regular expression to match all subdomains of example.com. Great. We've got our connection profile with dev.example.com and example.com. We can redirect this information to a file and pass it along to our control and administrators to direct this prof connection profiles in the configuration manager. This concludes the demo session of our webinar. Let's get back to our slides, and here's a recap of what we discussed during the demo session. We saw how to access and download the API examples from GitHub. We saw how to use one of these examples and how to modify this example to better meet our needs. Before heading into the Q&A session, I'd like to provide some other helpful resources for working with the control on GitHub. You can find these links in the attachments section of this section. And here are some additional resources for working with Automation API. These can also be found in the attachments section. I really hope you found this information helpful. Thank you very much for taking the time to join this webinar.